Hello everyone. Today's story is Whoop Goes the Puffer Fish. The author is Sejal Mehta. Illustrator is Pia Meenakshi. And the publisher is Pratham Books. Whoop! So whoop is a feeling when you say, hey, whoo! So that is called whoop. So, and who goes whoop like that? It is the puffer fish. So puffer fish must be this guy, this fish out here in this picture. And look at him. He's also mm, mm, puffed up. So puffer fish is a fish that puffs up with mm, 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 like that. It grows big in size because whenever it is afraid that someone is coming to attack it, it gets afraid and makes itself puffed up or big mm, like this. So let's see why does the puffer fish go boom like that. It's a beautiful and sunny morning at a rocky shore in Mumbai. At low tide, all seems peaceful at a tide pool. So we have gone to the beautiful shores of Mumbai. If you don't know where Mumbai is in India, take the map and find out. It's a sunny morning as well. And we have a tide pool here. See in this picture, this is the tide pool that is there. And tide pools are basically on the shore of a beach. And they can be seen when it is a low tide or when the lot of the water from the sea is gone back far into the sea. So we will see more about tides uh, as we go more into the story. But for now, tide is the rising and the falling of the ocean. And when there is a lot of water, it's called a high tide. And when there is less water and all the water has gone back into the sea and shore doesn't have a lot of water, it's called a low tide. And these tide pools that you're seeing can be seen. And mostly it is seen in rocky shores where there are a lot of rocks. A pink porcelain crab is looking for food. An orange starfish is moving slowly with its tube feet. So what two animals do we have here or sea creatures? The pink porcelain crab. Porcelain. Where have you heard that word? Yes, you drink from teacups, right? It's made of porcelain and what happens if you drop it? It breaks. So similarly, the porcelain crab is also very breakable, meaning if something comes to attack it in order to escape, it will shed its limbs. And that is why since it is so fragile or breakable, it's called a porcelain crab. So there is this pink porcelain crab here and an orange starfish look, look like a star out here and they're looking for food and the starfish with its tube-like feet is moving slowly like this, like this, like this. But wait, is it really peaceful? Oh no, a baby puffer fish is stuck in the tide pool. But does it look like things are quiet, no worries and peace? No, there's a small baby puffer fish. Can you see? It is stuck. It is caught in this tide pool. The puffer fish swims to the left and bumps into a rock. It swims to the right and bumps into a rock. It swims here and there and everywhere, but there seems no way out. So the puffer fish tries to swim left side and it bumps into a rock. It swims right side and it again bumps into a rock. It swims there, here, everywhere, but it doesn't know how to get out from the tide pool to go back into the sea. So you can see him, right? He's swimming in circles round and round. 
Help! I am stuck! cries the puffer fish. Whoop! It puffs up to protect itself from danger. It swims around in circles. So, look at this picture. Can you see him? He's gotten afraid and he's crying, saying that, please help me. I am caught here. I am stuck here. And then what does he do? Because he's afraid and he thinks he needs to protect himself. He puffs up, goes big, 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 and so big out here, and then keeps swimming around in circles. Don't panic, little fish, says the porcelain crab. The tide will come back in, says the starfish. But the puffer fish is too frightened to listen. Round and round it goes. So the porcelain crab here and the starfish see the scared little frightened puffer fish. So what does the porcelain crab say? Don't panic, don't get afraid. And then the starfish says, the tide will come back in. At that time, it will bring all the water and then you can swim and go back. But does the puffer fish listen? No, it is so scared that it is not able to understand. It goes round and round. At times, when we are so afraid, right, we never listen to what the other person says. We are so much involved with what we are thinking and getting scared. So is that right to do? Let's see. Who is making all this noise? A majestic octopus swims into the pool from under a rock. The puffer fish stares in awe. So a majestic octopus, a grand and big octopus. An octopus is an eight-legged creature and it is very grand and big to look at. It comes from under the rock and then it asks, who is making all that sound or noise? The puffer fish just looks at him in admiration. He's just staring at him in awe like that. Wow, like that. You feel trapped because the tide is low, says the octopus. At high tide, the water will cover all these rocks and you will be able to swim back home to the sea. So the octopus again tells the little puffer fish, don't worry, at high tide when all the water comes in from the sea. So look at this picture, the sea is here, the show is here, and then you have these rocks which forms these small tight pools. So the octopus says, when the tide becomes high, all the water here from the sea will come in Fill all these places with water and then you can swim back into the sea. So that is what will happen. So the sea is here. You can see some of the shore and the beach. And you have these rocky structures out here, right? They form these small tide pools. Now, since it is low tide, you don't find water out here. But when the tide becomes high, all the water from the sea will come here and cover all of these places. And that's why the octopus says you can swim back into the sea. The puffer fish is relieved. It waits. In time, water flows under the porcelain crab's rock. It flows over the starfish. It flows into the tide pools. The water rises. The puffer fish rises with it. So, after some time, what happens? The water comes in. So hearing the octopus, the puffer fish is relieved. Relieved meaning, okay, I think water will come. So it is relieved. Ha ba, we say, right? That means we are relieved. So it waits. And soon enough, the water comes. 
So when the water rises in the pool, the puffer fish also rises, goes up in the water. Finally, the baby puffer fish can swim over the rocks. It is overjoyed. Thank you, everyone. It calls out and swims away into the sea. Goodbye, little one. Swim safe. So it is so happy and thanks everyone because it is able to swim over the rocks out there. And then the octopus says, goodbye, puffer fish. What is a tight pool? Tight pools are shallow pools of seawater on rocky shores. You find these at low tide when the rest of the water has flowed back into the sea. Tide pools are in the intertidal zone, the part of the beach only seen at low tide. So we saw the low, what is a tide pool, right? I showed you in the picture. So tide pools are nothing but shallow or very less deep, less deep pools of seawater. And where are they present? Mostly on shores where it is a lot of rocks are present. What is this shore? You must have seen a beach, right? The seawater is there and then the sandy beach is out here. And if you have more rocks on this beach, then tide pools can get formed. And when can you see them? When it is at low tide, when there is not a lot of water, all the water has gone back into the sea. So we are seeing a one more new word here. Tide pools are in the intertidal zone. Intertidal zone is the place where the seawater meets the land, right? It is in the shore. So that is an intertidal zone, which you can see only during low tide. So there are two types of tide. Low tide, high tide. Low tide is when the water flows back far into the sea. High tide is when the water covers most of the shore. Tides are caused by the gravitational pull of the moon on the earth. So there are two types of tide, low tide and high tide. Low tide is when all the water flows back far into the sea. So there is no water on the shore or on these uh, rocky small pools where only less water is there. But when the high tide comes, when the water comes back from the sea, it covers most of the shore. And why do we have low tide and high tide? Because it is because of the gravitational pull of the moon that we see on the earth. And, and it causes water to come into the shore and water to go back from the shore into the sea. I hope you enjoyed this story with me. Thank you. Gravitational pull of moon on earth. Force of attraction exerted by moon on earth. It is nothing but a force applied by one object on the other in this case, by the moon on the earth. Relieved, no longer feeling anxious or worried or usually when we are so relieved, we say, Habha! Puffer fish, fish that becomes blown up like a balloon. Awe, a feeling of great respect, sometimes mixed with fear or surprise. Like, wow! Discuss some of these questions with your friends and try writing the answers. The first one. Why was the puffer fish worried? How does the puffer fish finally swim out to the sea? Find out what the effect of tide is on the crab and starfish. So you can look at the internet for this answer. Can you try to explain low and high tide in your own words. Thank you.